Hello, friends, and welcome to Figure Study, where we appreciate the form in Transformers. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at Mastermind Creations reformatted Dicamus, I believe is how you pronounce it. It's their rendition of IDW Roadbuster, I believe. I know it's Roadbuster. I'm pretty sure it's from the IDW comics. Now, this is a figure that I was kind of on the fence about getting for a little while because I thought he looked really cool. I thought he looked really neat in robot mode, and I thought the vehicle mode was pretty cool. But for whatever reason, I was just a little tentative about getting him, and then I finally got him, and yeah, no, he's freaking awesome. Though I do have some issues, but we'll get into that more in robot mode. So, Dichemis is this big armored car thing, and you'll probably notice, at least if you're familiar with this figure at all, that I do have the accessories attached, and that's because I feel like the accessories are really... they really help sell the aesthetic of this guy. Plus, I just... I like how the rocket launcher things can be attached to form a bumper in the front. I think it kind of works with that whole armored car motif. Kind of makes it look like a battering ram. So yeah, Dichemis. The vehicle mode is just a big armored car thing, and it's very cool. I like how you've got this like kind of plated window thing. It just looks like that really sells the armored car look. I mean, it's, you know, full of harsh angles and stuff, too, and very boxy, but, like, that's really kind of what makes me think of this as an armored vehicle. It's just the bars covering the windshield. And it does look very cool. And I'm fine with the orange and brown and green color scheme, I think. These colors and these tones work pretty well together, and I know it's, you know, it's Roadbuster's color scheme. You even have some blue for lights in the front here, which are a little bit hidden by these. There, you can see them a little better. But, uh, I still think looks pretty good with them in. And I like how these kind of connect to sort of fake a bumper there. It just adds a nice little bit of green in the front there to kind of, you know, tie all the colors together. And with these big chunky wheels, which are really cool, a little bit of piston detail in there that's been painted. And yeah, it's a very cool vehicle mode with, for whatever reason, uh, big spike balls in the back. <laughs> but no, it's cool. My one main issue with this is the same issue that I kind of have with the robot mode, and that is there's paint on it, but I feel like there isn't enough. Like there's some here for the, the brown there, which actually matches pretty darn well to the uh, plastic here. And then, you know, the windows underneath there, which is nice, and the silver bits here, and of course those pistons, the headlights, if you want to call them that, and like these bits back here and back here, but it just, I feel like there's so many other spots, like up here, and along here, and up on the top here, and in the front here especially. Like, yeah, there's color here, but a lot of it is kind of like, you know, this brown is the same as this brown. So I feel like this maybe could have a little more detail in there. I could just use a little bit more paint. And I have that same issue with the robot mode. I do appreciate the fact that the rims are a different color than the tires, and they're actually separate plastic pieces, I think. Might actually be painted, I don't know, but I get the feeling, I don't know, it just strikes me as being a different uh, piece of plastic. I appreciate having a color differential in the wheel there, but again, just a little bit more paint in there. Here, it would be nice, is all I'm saying. A little more paint would be nice. But anyway, put the canvas off to the side there. And here you can see the armored car thing mode with a Titan's Turn Deluxe and the Amiibo, and it's a pretty decently sized, beefy armored car. Like, it's chunky, but it's also big, and I definitely appreciate that. And yeah, it's just, it's a neat, beefy, nicely detailed, though could use more paint, armored vehicle mode, and it's kind of surprising how this guy, like, for all of his beefiness, he kind of spreads out more to make this kind of wider based boxy very boxy vehicle all right so just gonna take this stuff off and this thing here so we can get him all set for transformation
Okay, and surprising no one, here we have Dicamus in his robot mode, and oh lordy do I love this thing. I will get into my issues in a minute, but you know, this is just, this is very cool, and granted, I'm not super familiar with Roadbuster, never owned the original toy, never owned the Generations version, although I did have my eye on it for a while. This is still very evocative of Roadbuster, from what I know of him, because just those colors are very distinctly his, and this just looks just wonderful he's got a really cool like just chunky boxy beefy almost burly no not that one silhouette and it's so so cool moving in a little closer here we can see some of that detail and a lot of it is detail that was visible in the vehicle mode with just sort of like the midsection here mostly being newly revealed there's some nice detail in there though it is a little bit lighter in some places than others, but like you can see like rivets in there, little venting bits here and there, little other panel like lines and stuff. Some nice robotic detail on the arms too underneath these big chunky plates, which is pretty neat. And <laughs> I thought I would be bothered by the bulbous hands and the fact that his fingers all kind of have this permanent curl to them, but they actually look pretty good splayed out like that. And they just fit the aesthetic of this like big beefy guy. And of course, you know me and big shoulder pads, so there we go. I also really like these uh, vents, like right over his shoulders. That's just a neat detail. And I love this head sculpt. Again, I'm not super familiar with Roadbuster as a character, but this head looks really cool. I like how it's just really boxy, and it uses like the orange and the green for the rest of the character. And like, it kind of, like this head color-wise, I think the boxiness fits his entire body aesthetic better like it matches that because his whole body is pretty broad and boxy but like color wise you also get you know the green and the uh, orange there which kind of mixes in a lot better and i think this works better for me over the original head which i'll show for a comparison in a minute also because the way this works it's like the green stuff in here and the orange stuff here is all sort of like the inner parts of the robot all the brown with the exception of his little tootsies there but for the most part all the brown is very obvious armor plating so having a green and orange head i think just kind of works a little bit better there and then here we have the original head that he comes with he does come with two heads and this isn't a bad head but i just i really like how that green works with this center mass a little bit better than the brown and also this head makes me think of a snork i know it's not i know they actually have the things coming up off the top of their heads but this is just like this extruding mouth plate thing just makes me think of some kind of weird seahorse snork underwater 80s cartoon animal thing i mean it's fine but just given the option definitely that one Again, bringing it in closer here one more time. I just, I really like the boxiness of this. This head looks like it's a head that's itself covered in armor, and the entire body is covered in armor. Whereas this, it's just kind of a head. Again, it's not a bad head, and I think the brown does match, like it matches the brown on the outside, but I just think it looks better with the more square shaped, boxy green and orange head. But yeah, that is my preferred head. I do like the uh, metallic green for the visor. He just looks very, very cool. Just, I love how, <laughs> love how chunky this guy is. And of course, he can be enhanced with his accessories. And there are different things you can do. Like, you've got these bumper pieces that become rocket launchers, basically, like rocket pods. And you can do stuff like plug them onto the sides of his arms. You can plug them up on the inside of his shoulder pads. My preferred thing is plugging him back in here so he gets kind of like a shoulder-mounted rocket launcher. And then for the other one, you got the rifle here, which move him out so we can focus. The rifle also gets a little paint on it, which is nice. It could probably use a little more, but I like that it did get paint in the first place. And then here I saw uh, in MGO's review, he mentioned that you could slide this over the barrel, which you can. The only problem is if you push too far, that kind of splits open a little bit, and that doesn't really, I don't really like that. <laughs> so you can kind of do that. 
make it look like he's got a giant silencer on there. But my preference, again, is you can peg it into the bottom of the rifle, and so it looks like it has kind of like a underslung grenade launcher. And that I like very much. Just giving him like a bigger, beefier gun. And bring him in here. And again, I know I don't normally go over accessories, but I just really feel like the accessories in this case kind of go a long way to enhance this guy's thing. So get this guy situated how I tend to like to get him situated. And that is super cool. I am into that look. Just like the big rifle, the big shoulder rocket launcher thing, the big beefy mitts, the big beefy robot. <laughs> it's all very, very cool. I do kind of wish that the gun was not green, though. I know it you know, works with the rest of the color scheme, but I just feel like you know, there could have been a little paint on the rocket launchers, and maybe they could have been like gray or something, like actual gun colors instead of green, because as it is, as cool as it looks, and as much as you could argue it being an extension of his arm is a thing, it just it kind of does look like an extension of his arm if you're just looking at colors. Just, I wish there was a little bit more of a color difference with the gun, with all the accessories really, to kind of set them apart from the robot itself. Now, in terms of issues that I have with this guy, it's two main things. Uh, one is these knee bits here. I just, like, these are really kind of easy to just knock out of place. And I mean, they rotate for the transformation, but it's so easy to bump them and have them spin a little bit. So, like, you'll be adjusting the guy, and then you go to put him down, and suddenly it's like, oh. So I kind of wish that those at least had, like, maybe a soft lock or something. But I know I'm not the only person who's had that issue. My other issue with this guy is pretty much just like the vehicle mode. I just, I wish there was more paint. Like there is paint here. You've got, you know, for the shoulder bits, for the knee bits, there's some on the gun there. But most of this just doesn't look quite detailed enough in terms of colors that are picking out certain things. Especially this midsection here. It's just, it's all orange, which is fine, but like there's a lot of detail in there that just kind of gets washed out by the color when you're looking at them from a distance. And I really just wish there was a little bit of paint, like a little bit more color detail, like in the legs here, in the torso here, maybe even like in the shins or something. It's just, it's a little bit plain. I still think this guy is fantastic and really, really cool, but just wish there was a little more color or not color i just i wish there was more just tinier details that were brought out i know there's a repro label set for this guy and i am tempted by it but i really do wish they had done a little bit more in terms of like just smaller details one other thing that i do like to do though which is more of a fan mode is uh, this is the official transformation with the secondary head of course because you know again you still have this thing but to uh, set him apart from his mold mate, it's a Titanica, I believe. They have you rotate his shins around the way that they are rotated here. But what I've found I prefer to do is rotate them around this way. And at first I thought this was going to bother me because he's got tires just kind of on the insides of his calves, which is a little weird. But this actually ends up working out pretty well for my... Uh, <laughs> for my liking because first off having him spun around this way he's got slightly chunkier feet which I think work better because you know these are the feet going the other way and they're fine but just this guy's so big and burly and bruisery I feel like the bigger feet work better for him and again I thought the wheels here would bug me but they really don't and they just add a little bit more interest to him color palette wise, because now instead of just big blocks of brown, you get a little bit of black and green in there, too. Of course, the downside to doing it this way is it makes the lack of color differential up in this area here all the more obvious. But still, he's a very, very cool figure and just he looks so neat. I just I love the aesthetic on this guy and the chunkiness and the just I will make you eat your own face kind of attitude that he extrudes. And surprising absolutely no one, I'm sure, he is quite large. He's definitely, definitely uh, bigger than <laughs> any Titan's Return Deluxe and the Amiibo, of course. I peg him at not quite larger masterpiece size, but like he's 
He's tall. He's a big boy and very, very chunky, which definitely works in his favor, I think. Yeah, Dicamus just looks fantastic and very imposing on the shelf. Glad he's a good guy. I just, I do wish there was just a little bit more detailing, at least in the chest, like just a little bit more in the chest. I could probably, it would probably help if I get a repro label and give him either an Autobot or a Wreckers logo. But, you know, just out of the box, no, uh, no customizing or anything. Fan moding doesn't count. That's pretty much my main gripe to this guy. Like, I've, I've seen people talk about how his articulation is a bit limited, and it is, especially with the shoulders being as big as they are in that backpack. But it doesn't bother me that much because he's a big hulking bruiser of a bot, and I feel like having semi-limited articulation is fine because, I mean, look at him. He is not lithe. He is not going to be, like, parkouring all over the place. He's just going to walk, he's going to break the wall down with his face. <laughs> this is not a guy who's going to be nimbly hopping around. So yeah, the articulation doesn't bother me because I think he's perfectly fine for what he is. And putting him on a shelf, this is pretty much how I have him display, just standing there looking really intimidating. And he pulls that off really, really well. But anyway, I have rambled on about this long enough. So what do you all think? Do you have Dicamus? And if so, do you like him? Do you just, are you kind of impartial to him? Did you not like him and just got rid of him? Are you a fan of the bulbous spiky hands or do they annoy you? Which head is your preference? I know from looking it up, this is the official like IDW head, but I don't have any connection to the comics or the character. This is just one I think looks better. So I'm curious to see what you all think in terms of head options. And also, you know, you can do different things with the weapons. How do you like to configure the weapons? And please, I want to know if I'm the only person who's bothered by the lack of just smaller color breakups in this midsection here, because it really does bum me out a little bit. Not enough to hate on the toy, really. It just, you know, it's, it's a disappointment because everything else is so fantastic on this guy. Anyway, feel free to chime in below. And if you do that, also feel free to like or subscribe. Any combination of those three would make me a happy Rob. And remember, art is more than meets the eye.